Kelly Barlow Creations. If you are new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thanks for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. So what's going on for today? Today I am bringing to you a new series of videos that I came up with a couple of weeks ago that I'm really excited about. It is a series that I'm going to call bleak to chic and what it's going to consist of is items that you would typically see that are just blase blah that are really bleak that you would typically pass up in the store because they're blah and they're bleak I'm going to take them and show you just what you can do with these items so maybe next time when you see something that's bleak or blah you're not going to pass it up because you're going to see the possibilities of what it could be with just a little DIY. Today's DIY that I am transforming from bleak to chic are these over the door hangers. These hangers are hangers that you can find at just about any dollar store, dollar tree, 99 cent store. I can hardly wait to show you what I do with these hangers. I've got three different decor styles that I will be transforming them into. There is no reason to spend a ton of money on hangers when you can take these hangers that I paid three for 99 cents and transform them into something fabulous, into something chic. So let's jump into it and let me show you how I transform these into three different decor styles and how easy it is. For these first set of hooks, I'll be using Rust-Oleum spray paint in the color of oil rubbed bronze. This is most definitely one of my favorite colors to use because it really gives that rustic farmhouse wrought iron feel to whatever it is that you're painting. Isn't it amazing what a coat of really nice spray paint does to something? It transformed this hook into looking like something that is a rustic metal. Using these pearls by Jot that you can find at the Dollar Tree, I'm gonna use these to outline parts of this hook, just to give it that farmhouse chic feel. Now taking some twine, I will be making a simple twine bow to add to the top of this hook. Again, giving it more of that rustic farmhouse feel. And look at how stinking cute these are. These are so rustic and so farmhouse. I love them. And for these next set of hooks, I will be using Krylon's Color Master in the color of rose gold. This is a paint that I've used in the last couple weeks. I had a bit left, so I thought this was the perfect project to finish this can off with. And for this set of hooks, I will be using Dollar Tree's Clear Acrylic Gems by Jot. They are the smaller gem. And I will also be using these clear acrylic gems that I picked up from my latest Michaels haul for 97 cents a pack. And to adhere these onto the hook, I will be using E6000's Extra Tacky Glue to save my fingers from those hot glue gun burns. This tacky glue is amazing and it works perfectly and only takes about an hour to dry. And I thought it would be a really nice touch to make a flower using these clear acrylic gems here on the front of this hook. And for this larger gem, I'm going to go ahead and use my hot glue gun to adhere it to the top of this hook. Just adding that finishing touch to this hook. I love the way these turned out. These are so stinking pretty, I can hardly stand it. And in my opinion, these do not look like dollar store plastic hooks. From bleak to chic, I love it. And for this last set of hooks, I will be using this flat black spray paint that you can get at Walmart for 97 cents. And for these last set of hooks, I will be using these embellishments by Tim Holtz. 
these metal plated numbers. These are so stinking rustic. I can hardly stand it. And I thought this was the perfect project to use these in. And I will just simply be hot gluing them to the top of these hooks. I found these embellishments by Tim Holtz at Joann's and using a 50% off coupon, I paid under $2 for these. These are such a perfect hook for a teenager's dorm, for a teenager's bathroom, for anybody who's looking for that farmhouse rustic feel. Look at how simple this was and how rustic this turned out just by adding this metal plated embellishment. I love these. And there you have it. Look at the outcome of these bleak plastic over the door hooks that with just a bit of DIYing turned out so chic, I can hardly stand it. You can decorate these to suit any of your decor needs. Don't forget, if I've inspired you to make one of my projects, snap a quick picture of it, send it to me on either Facebook or Instagram because I love seeing all of your creations and I can feature them in an upcoming video. And there you have it, a quick and easy transformation of an item that you would otherwise probably pass up in the store. And the best part of it is that you can transform these over the door hooks into a decor style that suits your decor. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 2000 likes because it really does help my channel. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. And bye for now, everybody.